Three, two, one, go! Urban Troll Playground is the third entry in Tate Multimedia's clone series and is not affiliated with the Trolls games developed by Red Lynx. Like previous Trolls, the basic premise involves riding a motorbike across a complex 2D plane in the fastest time possible. This demands precise braking and tilting to avoid collisions. On the back end, Playground introduces separate controls for the front and rear brake, plus the ability to crouch. Also, for the very first time, you can play as a female character. In Playground, there's a total of 54 stages and 27 different maps. The game alternates between two different styles, Score Attack and Time Attack. In Score Attack, you must achieve the highest score by traveling at a high speed or pulling off wheelies and backflips, while the Time Attack levels demand that you reach the finish line in the fastest time possible. The levels also contain challenges and collectible poker chips that earn money that can be spent on upgrades for your bike or new digs for your character. Each stage can be finished in just one minute, which makes the game ideal for portable play. Unfortunately, this also means the game is quite short. In just 70 minutes, I managed to clear 46 stages before reaching a choke point where I didn't have enough stars to access the final batch of levels. After two hours, the game was complete. This wouldn't bother me if the game was 10 or 20 Australian dollars, but the game is actually $30 on the Australian eShop, and at retail, it's a whopping $50 which is a steep proposition for this limited amount of content. If you have a friend, you can race against him or her in two-player split-screen. Sadly, there's no ad hoc or online multiplayer available, nor is there any track builders like the one in Trials Fusion. But the most disappointing aspect is the lack of difficulty and variety. Every level almost felt the same, with very little to help distinguish them from each other. The game is surprisingly easy. Not because I'm a skillful player, no, the game lacks any sort of challenge and I just cruise through most of the levels without dying. The game wasn't broken, but I just wish the game was harder since a big draw of the trial series was overcoming that impossible difficulty. Urban Trial Playground is powered by Unreal Engine 4 and the tropical setting makes for a nice change of pace compared to the dingy industrial look of the previous games. Unfortunately, the game runs at a low resolution, resulting in a very soft look. On the flip side, the game has short loading times and runs at a decent clip. To be honest, I was disappointed with Playground since it lacks the challenge and nuance of previous trials, nor does it have enough content that justifies its high price. I can't recommend it to fans of trials until it receives a price drop. Faster! 